from The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas by John Boyne. Schmuel gathered himself very close to Bruno and looked up at him in fright. I'm sorry we didn't find your papa, said Bruno. It's all right, said Schmuel. And I'm sorry we didn't really get to play, but when you come to Berlin, that's what we'll do. And I'll introduce you to... Uh, oh, what were their names again? He asked himself, frustrated because they were supposed to be his three best friends for life. But they had all vanished from his memory now. He couldn't remember any of their names, and he couldn't picture any of their faces. Actually, he said, looking down at Schmuel, it doesn't matter what I do or don't. They're not my best friends anymore anyway. He looked down and did something quite out of character for him. He took hold of Schmuel's tiny hand in his and squeezed it tightly. You're my best friend, Schmuel, he said. My best friend for life. Schmuel may well have opened his mouth to say something back, but Bruno never heard it, because at that moment there was a loud gasp from all the marchers who had filled the room, as the door at the front was suddenly closed, and a loud metallic sound rang through from the outside. Bruno raised an eyebrow, unable to understand the sense of all this, but he assumed that it had something to do with keeping the rain out and stopping people from catching colds, as the room was airtight. And then everything went very dark, and somehow, despite the chaos that followed, Bruno found that he was still holding Schmuel's hand in his own, and nothing in the world would have persuaded him to let it go.